Hello, my name is Rafael and welcome to my first learning milestone. And since it's my first time presenting in this manner, it's going to be a little interesting. So stick around. I have got tons of stuff to show you of what I've learned over the past quarter. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Since storytelling is a topic that is in the DLP, I've decided to combine language and reading together. For English, I have read Animal Farm by George Orwell, which basically is a book about political satire, and it's one of the books that I've chosen from the Centrist DLP. The chapter starts with Mr. Jones, a pretty drunk farmer who arrived at his farm late at night. When he goes to sleep, a bunch of animals came to the center of the barn at the request of Old Major, a 12-year-old pig with lots of ideas. Major delivers a speech about how humans are basically making animals' lives miserable and how he wants animals to rebel against the tyranny of men. He then tells the barn a dream, a weird dream that he had wherein no mankind existed and only animals thrived and where animals made their own produce and no humans were ever allowed to take them. Now in the present, Old Major teaches the animals a song called Beasts of England to which the whole barn sings rapidly and loudly until they've broken Mr. Jones who basically fires a shot at the barn thinking it was a fox. All animals disperse at the fear of the sound. Three nights after the previous chapter, Old Major has died peacefully in his sleep. On the wake of his passing, all animals decide to begin planning the rebellion against the tyranny of men. However, they are still unsure. However, they were still unsure when it will occur. Because of their intelligence, the pigs were placed in charge to teach animals about animalism. And basically, that's the philosophy of animals that Old Major had told the previous chapter before. Snowball and Napoleon are two pigs who are deemed to be important to this revolution. At the end of the chapter, they decide to make a point wherein animals can do so much work than Mr. Jones and his men could ever do. Chapter 3 tells the story that the animals had difficulty using human tools for their harvest. Despite that they were able to cooperate and finish the harvest, they did so in less time where if it took Jones and his men to do the same task. The pigs became the supervisors and directors for the animal workers and on Sundays the animals go to the barn to listen Napoleon and Snowfall debate about a number of useless topics, none of which they couldn't seem to agree. Snowball tries his best to make a bunch of animal committees all of which seem to fail but he did know how to do one thing though, he did make animals literate and with that to help animals understand the concept of animalism, he formed a slogan. Four legs good, two legs bad. Word has spread about the rebellion to the other farms via carrier pigeons. Jones spends most of his time in the pub complaining about his problems to his two farmer friends, Pilkington and James, which happens to be his neighboring farmer. Jones and a group of men then came to Animal Farm to attempt to seize control of it. They did not succeed though. Snowball turns out to be an extraordinary tactician and with the help of other animals, drives Jones and his men away. The animals have then celebrated their victory of what they have called the Battle of the Cowshed. For mathematics, I have figured out how to solve linear equations, which in the past I have done horribly. One of these topics that I'm gonna cover is domain and range. Now, in a set of x and y coordinates, when you have a domain that's basically list down all the x coordinates and ranges are basically y coordinates. Now for accounting, I've figured out which ones are debits and which accounts are credits. Now basically what this means is that debits are things that you own and credits are things that you owe. Now, one of the activities that I've done for both calculus and accounting is this. And let me flip it so that you can see what's going on. 
Now what you're looking at is a graph of our electricity and water expenses. Now note that these prices are listed in dirhams. So that means that these go up by hundreds and the months stretch on from July to October as we haven't gotten to the end of November. Now I've used graphs for the sake of calculus and also I've used the numbers from accounting which we've learned how to budget. <laughs> For science, I have done an experiment wherein I experimented with red dye, hot water, lukewarm water, and tried an experiment with mantle convection and how the cycle works. A clip can be shown right here. As you can see, hot water is slowly making the red dye rise due to convection. And just like on the oceanic ridge, new rock is being pushed upwards towards the surface and away from the ridge. Meaning that the farther away you got from the ridge, the older the rock gets. Ahlan, ismi Rafael. Ana min al Filipin wa wulidad fi Abu Dhabi. Jinsiatin Filipin. Lakad ashad fi al Emirat. Tawal ay hayatin. Sa Pilipino, nag-aalala ko ng mga aspekto ng pandiwa. Ito ay dahil hindi pa po akong confident magsalita ng Tagalog. Bukod dito, gumawa ko ng tatlong mga sanaysay sa wikang Pilipino. One of the things that I've learned in economics are the three major types of resources. Now, I've made a presentation about this as a project and it also incorporates it in my art because of color and layout. Now, the, one of the three major resources that I'm going to be starting with is natural resources. Now, natural resources are anything and everything that isn't made by man. So basically, it's minerals, forestry or wood, water, anything that isn't made by man are considered natural resources. Now the second resource that I'm going to be talking about are human resources. These are people, employees, these are people who are working for an organization. Those are considered human resources. The next and final major resource that I'm going to be talking about is capital resource. Now capital resources are basically now, capital resources are basically assets that an organization has in the hopes of making more money. During computer subject, I code on Python because that is what I want to learn for the rest of the school year. Now, during those times, I have coded three projects in total. Number one is a number guessing game. You have to you have ten guesses in order to guess the correct number. If you guess the correct number, the program will terminate immediately. If you guess the wrong number, however, it will terminate as well once you have the tenth guess. The second program that I've coded is a car game. It's just a simple start stop car game. Now it will tell you if you you can type you can type start to start the car, stop to stop the car, or you can press quit, uh, or you can type quit to terminate the program, and also you can type help in order to see what functions there are in the game. Uh, if you've already typed start and you want to start the car again, the program will act on you. And if you've already stopped the car, then the program will act us as well. Now, for Bible study, I have been reading my mom's Our Daily Bread. Now, this is a collection of short stories that has Bible teachings in them. Throughout the quarter, I've been memorizing the books of the New Testament. And also, as an activity as well, I've been memorizing a verse 
uh, each week. In fact, I can give you one right now. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and the future. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For music, I basically played the piano. Now, prior to the school year, I've never played the piano before. So, uh, it seems right that I try something new this year. I have played two songs over the course. I've practiced two songs over the course of this quarter. Uh, John Lennon's Imagine. For Imagine, this basically talks about how people should get together and unite. Now, especially during the pandemic right now, now if people want this to end, then we have to work together to end it. For example, staying in our homes. And John Legends. <laughs> All of me. Now, basically, I was told that those two songs are the easiest to play on the piano. That one took a little bit of trick because, unimagine, that only had major chords. However, on Imagine, that took a bit of getting used to because those included minor chords which are the black keys and major chords are the white keys. During the past quarter, I have done many paintings and sketches on this sketchbook. Now the first artwork that I've done is this mountain range which is painted with oil pastels and uh, it's my attempt at blending the colors from yellow to purple. The first painting that I've done is this. It's a night sky with trees painted with brushes uh, on black paint. And this is my first attempt at blending using paint from blue to a lighter shade of blue. Another exhibition of me blending colors is red transitioning to yellow with the sunset painting or sunrise. It depends on how you look at it and the latest painting that i've done is this eye this is my first attempt at abstract art for physical education i have been biking now for biking i used an unused road which is basically closed with joggers and bikers alike going there these three lanes are not being used so it's safe to bike over here i have been going there to bike and since that road is 500 meters i have done a total of nine kilometers going back and forth along with my parents who decides to take a walk every now and then for tle i have done more chores than usual for example more dishwashing more sweeping the floor cleaning the house and also uh, table setting setting up the table cooking all of that and basically the most memorable one out of the bunch is helping dad with his diy projects now one of his projects includes this net right here which basically stops birds from coming into our balcony to do well their business so that's why I needed to saw a piece of wood in half just so that it could fit the balcony specifications now it may be hard at first but once I have done that once I have cut through the wood it I felt a huge sense of accomplishment so that concludes my first quarter learning milestone now seeing as this is my first time homeschooling see you in the next quarter